The schedule and comfort routine. A comfort routine or ritual is wind down time before you go to bed that I recommend for everybody. Again, the body loves routine. So I usually say about an hour before you go to bed, some do some things, create a routine for yourself that you know helps calm you down. You could journal about your feelings. Um, sometimes people will have a worry journal where they write down their worries if that's keeping them from sleeping. Or you can have a gratitude journal where you write down all the things that you're thankful for to create positive emotions. You can do some light reading by soft light, probably nothing that will get your, get your emotions all hyped up. Um, you can put some soft calming music, light some candles, some really gentle scents like lavender. We talked about taking a warm bath and the physiology of that. Deep breathing, positive self-talk, just telling yourself now is the time to wind down, go to bed. So whatever it is that you need for your comfort ritual or routine, you can start doing that about an hour before you go to bed. And also during that time, stop using uh, any sort of blue light or screens, and we'll talk about that more. Go to sleep and wake up around the same time every day. So again, that goes along with the routine that our bodies and minds love. And if you go to if you wake up in the morning around the same time and then you go to bed around the same time, your body ends up doing a lot of the work for you. So you won't necessarily have to force yourself to do it because your body gets in that routine and it will naturally start to wind down around the time that you need to go to bed. Keep your bedroom cool, dark and quiet. Cool is actually between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So especially in the hot summer months here, that's can be difficult. Um, so that is an important part. Dark, nothing more than a, a nightlight and quiet is either completely quiet or something like a white noise, like a fan or something like that. And then during the pandemic, because it's difficult to actually feel like you have a schedule, it's important to still have that feeling that that ability to separate times for when you, when you do things. So when you get up in the morning, shower and dress or do your normal routine like you are going to work if you need to, whether you leave the house or not. So staying in your pajamas all day is going to really confuse your body. Eat meals at the same time each day. Um, block off a specific time period for work, specific time period for exercise, specific time periods for social time. So again, your body gets used to that routine. I'm sure there would be a question about naps. So if you nap too much during the day, it throws off your circadian rhythm. Um, so I recommend usually, if you do need to take a nap, to limit it to a short nap, maybe in the afternoon between 10 to 30 minutes, and probably not longer than that, and not close to your bedtime, because then you'll really be awake at night. <laughs> 